Hi, this is John of Earthshine Software, and today I want to show you how Drone Viewer can help you in applications where precise geotagging, geolocating, and geodocumenting is important. Uh, there's a number of applications that fit that criteria. They include site surveys, inspections, uh, search and rescue, wildlife monitoring, archaeology, real estate. These are all applications where knowing where you are, where you're photographing, where you're taking your video is important. In this example, I'm going to go over an inspection of an oil field, in particular, a pump jack. We're going to pretend that we're inspecting oil field pump jacks. We need to fly to each one, capture video of the pump, and then move to the next one. And there could be many, many pump jacks on a single oil field. How do we easily identify which pump is which on the video? when we're doing the, the post-flight inspection. And the solution, of course, is to use Drone Viewer. This demo uses the GoPro Hero 7 Black for video capture, but of course you could use the uh, built-in video cameras from the uh, on the Mavic Pro, the Phantom 4, and some other DJI uh, uh, UAVs. Or you can even use a GPS-enabled dash cam and use uh, a dash cam viewer to do what we're going to do here as well. So, uh, without further delay, let's get on to the inspection. So, let's say that we've uh, just captured our video. And we're playing it back. Now, if we just play it back in a regular viewer, like this, this is just QuickTime Player. And we can see our video from the GoPro. And, you know, we can kind of move to the inspection points, uh, we think. Where they are and we really have no way of knowing where we are in the field so this isn't very useful now let's go ahead and run drone viewer okay we'll bring the same videos in this time i'm going to grab a second one too just drag them into drone viewer and give it a chance to process the gps data now we see a field here which looks like an oil field and we can see the route that the UAV is going to take through this oil field. It comes around this way. So let's go ahead and, and take a look at our data. Here we have the latitude, longitude, altitude, speed. Uh, currently we're just uh, idle. We're going to go ahead and, and proceed to a point. And I can just click here and I can jump to certain points in the video. Of course, I can scrub through as well. And notice it moves the map, so I can zoom in, zoom out. Now, if I, I have an idea where these are, these uh, pump jacks, so I'm going to go ahead and just click. I think one's right, well, one's right here. It looks like my drone was uh, hovering over here, so I'm going to click over here. Oh, yeah, there's one right here. So I can see, and I can do my inspection. Now I can geotag this. I can click this button here and put a little tag, which you see up here. Now I can go ahead and edit that tag, and I'll call this uh, Pump Jack 1, and just click OK. Now notice it shows my latitude, longitude, and my distance from home, and some other parameters. Okay, I'm going to click over here. It looks like we're flying in this direction. Click over here, and I put myself right over Pump Jack 2. Put another geotag there. I'll call this one Pump Jack 2. Okay, so you can see I'm putting notes and tagging these as I go along. Uh, what do I have over here? Looks like I slowed down. Now notice the color coding for the speed. Red indicates I'm, I was moving slow, so perhaps I was hovering. Okay, you can see the red also in the speed graph. Uh, yep, there's another one. I can mark this one. Click on the button here. And I will go ahead and say pump jack number three. Okay, you get the idea. Okay, and I can go ahead and if I'm uh, in between pump jacks, I want to move faster. I can just click the uh, accelerate speed move to the next one. You can see I'm almost done with the video of the first the first video here of the series and right there's where I switch to the second video. So it's going to switch and drone ver oh here we go we're at another one. 
I'm going to go ahead and mark this one as pump jack number four. Okay. And that'll jump me into the second video, I think, here. Oops, I, I reset to the first one. Yeah, so here we are over number four. I've already put a geotag there. See, we're, we're at the four. Now I'm moving away from four. And I think I'm heading back. Well, I'm heading over here. What's over here? I'll click over here. Ah, another one. I'll go ahead and stop and put another uh, marker here. Another geotag. So this is pump jack number five. Okay, so I've identified the location of the five pump jacks that I want to do in my survey. And what I'm going to do now is show you how you can go to each one of these and do closer inspection. Let's say we want to go to the first one. Well, all I need to do is, let me just reposition this, double click on it, double click on the point. Here I am at the first one. Here I am at the second one. Double click on number three. Double click on number four. Double click on number five. So it jumps me to that point in the video when the survey was being performed. I can go ahead and I can slow it down and, and look for things that are interesting in the video, maybe leaks, um, operation, in operation. I can, I can make sure everything's working correctly and jump to each one individually and uh, you know, make notes. I can export these to a file. I can call this uh, geotags. And then I can see where that file is. I have it right here. So when I come back to this, if I quit and I come back, run it, I can load those two videos again. I'll just drag them from the finder here into uh, Drone Viewer. It'll load those up. And I can just go to my geotags, import, select my geotags, and there they are again. I can jump to them again. There's number two, number four, all my points of interest. Down here, I can look in latitude and longitude. Some people like um, their latitude and longitude in degrees and minutes, which we have here, or degrees and minutes and seconds. So you just click here. Likewise, you can just click in the speedometer to convert between miles per hour, kilometers per hour, and meters per second. See the total distance there? 1.4 kilometers or 0.9 miles. If I do see something in my geotags, let's say I go back to pump number two, I stop it. I can zoom in by using the mouse and I can pan. Look, uh, look carefully and I if I want, I can have it operating, playing, as a, I am zooming. So I'm zooming in on my GoPro video here, looking for things that might be of interest, making sure the pump is working properly. There's other uh, plots I can show you. There's altitude, bearing, distance in line of sight, and total distance. I'm auto scaling as we go here. You can export clips. If I want just a little bit of a movie clip here, and I want to get a fragment of this pump number four. I could say I want five seconds of movie, make a clip. I can even specify a playback rate. I can have it go faster or slower than actual time. Okay, there's exporting options for JPEGs, KML, GPX and CSV for the data. That's about all I want to show you for now. Thanks for watching.